Hello everyone, welcome back to Neutralix. I'm your host, Coslix. Today, I'm teaching you guys how to remove input lag from Brawlhalla. This is going to be a really fast tutorial. Subscribe if you want to improve at Brawlhalla and other fighting games one day in the future. Let's get right into this. So, uh, there's two main things that are just going to make your game way better. I guess three, you could say. The first one, that's kind of one. Make sure you're playing Brawlhalla on PC. That way, you're going to be able to actually customize the input lag and have full control over how your game feels. On console, you're gonna have max maximum FPSs. Uh, the consoles can only go to like 120 hertz sometimes, uh, and you need specific monitors. Get a PC, that way you're just gonna be able to customize a ton of settings and how the game operates on your system. So once you get a PC, uh, and the, the second thing, the, the, the biggest thing, uh, get a high refresh rate monitor. My monitor right now is 360 hertz. There's a ton of monitors you can find that are high refresh rate. Try and look for one millisecond response time. Just visually, it will look better. No ghosting. But high refresh rate because then you can actually... I don't know how it works, but refresh rate of the monitor, even though the game is capped at 60 FPS, it allows the game to pull inputs more than 60 FPS. So your inputs reach the game's programming faster, if that makes sense. So yeah. Get a high refresh rate monitor. Mine's 360 hertz. It's a couple hundred bucks. I would say at least 144 hertz if you want to be playing this game really competitive. Next, you go on to Steam. This is the third thing you're going to have to do. The last thing, uh, go to properties. Then you're going to want to do two things. One goes to the betas. And then there's this top right beta participation tech test. Turn on tech test. This will actually uh, bring you to this other branch of the game that has a little bit less input lag, but more specifically, you can adjust the launch options. So these are the launch options I use. I'm going to put this in the comments or description. I think the description. Check the description for this exact launch option. But let me just explain what they do. The dash high does nothing. I don't recommend dash high. I just have it there because I'm weird. Uh, the biggest one is dash frame fix unbounded. This is the one removing the input lag. It allows the game to unbound. It goes past the frame rate and it it pulls at a much higher FPS. I don't know exactly how it works, but that's the gist. Broadcaster mode, you don't need. It just makes it so clans don't show, but you can customize colors and stuff. I, you don't need this, but I use it. Then there's spectator delay zero. This does what it says. It, removes the spectator delay you'll get some uh, issues spectating if you have this launch option so use at your own risk whatever um sometimes some games you spectate might be laggy if the game's laggy um it's a bit weird so version doesn't really matter um but dash unlock fps i don't know how much this impacts dash frame fix unbounded but i believe it feels better so you can kind of experiment really the only one you need is frame fix unbounded but i recommend dash unlock off fps as well so i'm just going to copy the launch options you need down in the description to copy that put it here and then you can just launch your game like normal you just hit play it's just going to launch all normally and your game is going to feel a lot better you get a high refresh rate monitor and you do these launch options that is how to play brahala optimally i know high refresh rate get a pc pay to win um they don't want it to be pay to win it just is pay to win <laughs> it's sad but true so guys if you enjoyed this kind of video like subscribe comment i would showcase to you what it looks like but you can't really tell with video video doesn't show input lag um so yeah do this stuff let me know if this video helped you and thanks for watching subscribe for more i'll see you guys later peace